Hello, this is Laura Sawyer and this is my course, Breaking Down Technology Integration. Um, I, I am a teacher technology resource specialist trainer for Polk County Schools and one of the things I get to do with uh, in my role is I get to train teachers with on how to use technology or integrate it into their classroom practice. So I'm planning on using this course for uh, a course that I will build for Polk County Schools, um, which is just the beginning steps of how to how to integrate technology. It lays the foundation and then gives them some strategies. Uh, the way I've created it is almost all of the informational pieces are written on a Moodle page. I've used labels for the aim, learn, and apply. As an overview, um, we're going to um, define what technology integration is, look at some best practices, and then in the middle uh, we're looking at uh, responsible use, copyright, and ethics, and how to teach that to students, how to manage the materials of the course, I mean of uh, whatever they're doing with their students, where can they actually put all that digital those digital resources for themselves and for those students to access and then because students uh, productivity and use of technology is the key to technology integration it's not teacher use it's student use weeks five six and seven are the strategies in which um, I've really stressed student voice student collaboration student productivity so that the teachers really get a sense that it's it's about the student it's not about having a fancy presentation in front of the room and then the final step is for them to put it together by creating a um, personal plan for technology use um, all of the stuff that I've put in there uh, has been put in both as an activity for them to use and as a model of something that they they can use with their students. So the icebreaker is a geosetter challenge and in that um, they find five different places, put it on this geocenter or on this geocenter uh, online space um, and then they try to guess where those spaces are. So I've included in all of the activities how can you use this later and how can you use it in your classroom. Um, here's just a really quick view of a geosetter. I put it on my little hometown of Bartow, Florida. Very quaint little town in central Florida. For the in, uh, technology integration de defined, their activities, well let's see, oh, let me show you the learn first. So the way I've set up all of the learns, they there is text, there are links to either examples or other things to learn. This is a thing link, which is an image with embedded um, links on them, um, videos, and a lot of text that actually leads them through the learning so that they don't have to just guess and just look at different links. They actually are led through the le learning experience that I want them to go through in this course. For the activity on for the first week, they're taking a let besides the discussion forum, they're taking a current lesson and then they're going to use the technology integration matrix, the TIM, and look at how they can take a current lesson and move it one step and then a second step so that they're beginning to see how they can use these tools to enhance their lessons. In the second week, we're looking at the SAMR model which has radically changed the way I look at how you use technology in the classroom. So it just leads them through the learning with videos, text, readings. Um, in this case they're going to create a graphic of best practices and I've given them links and again save for later make a note of the resources to use with your students. I've tried to embed ideas for them to use in their classroom. Um, and this is where I also have the rubric that we created. And then finally, the last week is where they create a personal plan. And when they create this plan, they're actually integrating all of the different pieces from the course and synthesizing that into one plan that they will then take into their classroom.